Before port forwarding, there are two things that you will need. An actual dedicated server that you will want to use and access to your router or network configuration. If you don't already have a server ready to use, you can watch my other tutorial on how to easily set one up. So first of all, you will need to go to your network configuration page. This will be different depending on the network provider you have, but the steps are still similar. Once logged in, head over to Advanced Settings, Firewall or Port Forwarding, and in here you will need to open up a new port range. If you are asked for an IP for the port to run through, make sure to use the IP of the computer running the server. When adding a port range, you'll need to open the ports 28015 to 28015, both UDP and TCP. Save the new configuration and then navigate to the directory your server is kept in. In order for the server to take advantage of the port forwarding, you will need to change the startup script, as shown here on the screen. I will leave a copy of the script that I used in the description. Once you've changed the batch file, you need to test the server. It should launch normally, but this time, when you open Rust, your server name should appear at the top of the modded server list, if you filter by ping. If your server doesn't appear at the top, try searching for it. But if it still doesn't appear, recheck the steps. As a last resort, leave a comment for me to reply to, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for all the support on my Rust videos, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. See you next time.